Hi guys, Dave here, Dave's LFC Chats, and I've got a legend on to do the preview of the Leicester City Liverpool game on Boxing Day. I've got LCFC Boya, big Leicester City fan on the line. He's a happy man. It's almost Christmas. How are you, Boya? Yeah, as you say, very happy. <laughs> Finished for work for the for the year. Well, till yeah, till New Year's Day. So happy with that. Happy with football. Just ready to relax now. Absolutely. I mean, obviously I'm over the moon, but um, for yourself, you must be happy. I mean, Leicester City, new manager, Brendan Rodgers, they're doing well. They've already scoring goals from every angle. Every, um, I mean, you know, defensively very good. Points tally unbelievable. They got beaten 3-1 the weekend at City, but to be honest, anybody can get beaten at City at the empty head stadium. But I mean, you have to be happy. It's, it's Boxing Day, Liverpool, the game. It's obviously going to be a tough game. Liverpool won the World Club Cup the weekend. We're in a great position. But still, it's still a tough place to go. I'm a bit apprehensive about it, really. Someone, one of my friends asked me today, would you take a draw at um, King Power? And I actually hemmed and hawed about it and sort of thinking maybe I would take a draw. But to be honest, being Liverpool, going for the league, we can't take draws. We just can't take draws, you know what I mean? Well, yeah, that was your problem last year, wasn't it? You yeah, drew too yeah, many games. Yeah. yeah. Actually, as you know, I was at the Leicester City game in Anfield. I met you outside before the game. And, yeah. Um, I mean, that was a tight game. I mean, Milner injury time penalty. I just think this game is going to be tight again. I think there'll only be a goal in it. I mean, a really, it'll be a 1-0 or a 2-1. There will be, there won't be much in it. They're both, you know, it's going to be tight. Here's a good side at home. I mean, Vardy's dangerous. We have to keep him quiet, of mm. course. But, uh, are you optimistic about the game or what, what do you think? Um... But I know we're underdogs going into it and stuff because of the form that you guys are in, but I'm always confident at home. We've lost one game under Brendan Rodgers at the King Power, and that was eight months ago. So we're unbeaten at the King Power in eight months. So like, it, we've made it a really difficult yeah. place for Chelsea to come up. But, um, I tell you, yeah, you, that's what I'm saying. We've only lost one game all year, and that was against uh, City at the Empty Head Stadium back in, like, January or something like that. Or mid our first week of February, like long, long I even forget when it was, it was so long ago. But um and we've only drawn one game, obviously United away and won the rest. But uh, I don't know. It's 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 still a tough game. I mean it's 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 a really tough game. It's one of the, it's one of the toughest games, you know, in in a calendar season. So to go to the King Power. But I'm confident enough but even though we played we have to travel from Doha and Qatar and but winning it, I think that that World Club Cup we won, I think it's, it gives us a huge boost, to be honest with you. But um, I, I'd be confident, though. I have to be confident, of course. But it's still going to be a tough game. I'm going to call 2-1, boy. I know you won't like it, but I have to say 2-1 to Liverpool because I'm a Liverpool fan, of course. But um, what, do, what do you think? What way do you think it'll go? I've said, I've said this on Doug's channel and I said it on Craig's channel last night. I think it's going to be a 2-1 Leicester win because... I just like I know you guys are the favourites and stuff, but we've been we've had two not ideal results. And I really do think that this would be our time to bounce back. Like we're so much stronger at home, and I just can't see us losing at home. Yeah, uh, it's hard to see us losing because we've only lost one game. We've only lost one game in like something like eighteen months in the league. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. It's a great stat, but every run's got to come to an end, hasn't it, at some point? Yeah, um, that's true. I mean, obviously, you can't win every game. I mean, obviously, it, it's impossible. No no team in history wins every game. But, I mean, I don't know. I, I just, I want, to, I want the run to continue because this is where, you know yourself, Boxing Day, and then you have a game straight after. You have another game after. You have FA Cup after get into January. These are ticking fast. I think this is where the leagues are won, won and lost in the round boxing day. Those three, four games. Do you think so? Where positions can fluctuate. Do you know what I mean? City as well. Yeah, right? One or two tough games. But I mean, I think if Liverpool could beat Leicester City, that would send out a huge signal. If, if we beat you, it's because we're 10 points ahead of you at the moment and we have a game in hand. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's one of those, because as you're saying about it sort of being the time of year where like titles decided and it was the, the year that we won it. We actually, I believe we lost our game on Boxing Day to you guys away at Anfield. And yeah. then then I think we drew our next game and then just went on a really good run after that. Yeah. 
It, you know what's really amazing? I was just thinking back to Liverpool um, last season, even further, like further back, the season that they got beaten by Madrid in the final two seasons ago. We 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 got beaten by um, Spurs 4-1 at Wembley. I don't know whether you remember the game. Lovren had a nightmare. But we went on an unbelievable run after that. Some Sometimes in life, a loss can actually re... You know what I mean? Re, reset your battery. Yeah. But the team at Liverpool that's have been winning games, so it won't that's re- get what back. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's almost what happened with us because when we went, obviously played at Anfield, we lost. And then since then, we've only had one loss since then, and that was against Man City. So we've won every other game since yeah. that. Yeah. Apart from the Norwich one, actually, which we drew. But what, what do you think, though, uh, Boya? What do you think? Like, I mean, do you think you'll win the league, or do you think you'll, you'll? I think you'll definitely get top four. I think you're a shoe in for top four, considering the way the other teams are playing. Chelsea and Spurs, they're, they're killing each other. United don't know whether, don't know what they're doing. They can beat City, they can beat Spurs, and then get beaten by Watford. Spurs got beaten by Chelsea the weekend. Arsenal don't know what they're doing. I think Leicester, it's a great chance if they, you know, if you don't win the league, at least get into the top four. It's worth a lot of money. Yeah, I don't, you know, I don't, it, it, it's, it, yeah, it's, it's not a trophy, but to be honest, it's it's a nice little caveat to have, you know? The thing is, like, um, I don't think they're going to win the league, and I know they did. And at the start of the season, I remember having a chat with you, I think it was, saying about that if we could get European football uh, this year, it'd be, I'd be happy, whether it's Europa League or Champions League. But, Obviously, Champions League is a level above Europa League. And if yeah. we can get third or second, that would obviously that's puts us in a better stead for next year to keep players like Madison, Chilwell, and yeah, yeah. and all of them. Well, the, well, what he has done brilliantly is kept those players. They're like Liverpool were looking at Chilwell, I think even two seasons ago. What I mean, Madison is the big one, I think, for you guys. If you can hold on to him in the summer. That would be a big statement. And obviously, Champions League football would help because Europa League football is Christmas Eve. Champions League is Christmas Day, baby. Yeah. But the, <laughs> thing, I would, I, the thing that I would... Like, the key player that sort of goes under the radar a lot, but I think if we lose him, we are in big trouble, is NDD. Uh, he uh, he lets our team tick. He gives Chilwell and yeah. Pereira that to get forward. He lets Madison and Tielemans get forward without having yeah. to worry what's going on behind them. Now they've got that security, so yeah. he's sort of he's a pivot that allows us to play. But the way that we do, the he's a bit football. like Fabinho for Liverpool, but we we've done well without him, Fabinho. You know, he still has to come back. He's been out injured. Yeah, he he's similar to Fabinho, and we do have Chowdhury, who's a good player. Who, if indeed he was to go, yeah. could, but he's not at that level yet. But NDD is because I would argue with anyone that NDD is the best defensive midfielder in the league. I know you know he's a top top player, there's no doubt about it. Another guy who's shown for you is the centre half, the Turkish centre half, and I know you love him, and that guy Fox loves him. Fox, oh. what's, that, what's your mate's name? The Fox guy. Uh, True Fox. True Fox. Um, he's always on the Sancho, is it Sancho? Kagla Oh, I love him. Yeah, he's absolutely love him. He's another one you want to keep an eye on. He could go as well. Oh, come on. I thought we were coming on to the game, not to make me depressed. Ah, no, I'm already messing. <laughs> I mean, the big thing for you, as I said, if you don't win the league or finish second, finish in the top four, it keeps your players. It keeps your money. You don't have to sell anybody. You know what I mean? You're in the Champions yeah. League. Why would you want to go anywhere else? At the moment, unless a player forces their way out, sort of like Mahrez did and Maguire did, there's no reason for us to sell. We've got money, to, the money to hold on to players, as you've seen with Brendan Rodgers. We've got the money to sort of scave off our interest from bigger clubs like Arsenal, and there was, I think, there was some interest from other clubs as well in terms of Brendan Rodgers. But we've shown that we've got the intention to keep keep our managers we, by putting him on a new contract, putting Madison on a new contract, Sunchu and NDB all on new contracts. So it's about sustaining what we've got and then building the squad around it not just for starting 11 yeah yeah now I, I've been really impressed which is um, obviously I was impressed which is that, that day at Anfield as well the, the one I met you outside the ground but I mean he has a winning games Vardy score and now obviously if Vardy gets injured it might be a different story because he really is the danger man there's no doubt about it and he's a good record against Liverpool as well so that's why Liverpool will have to be extra careful with him on yeah. Boxing Day you know what I mean 
It's one of those. He's our key man, but I do see it a lot that people saying, "Oh, if Vardy gets injured, then it's going to hurt you massively." But it's, I'd say that's the same with any team, isn't it? Surely, if you take their best player out of their team, they're going to struggle a bit more. Yeah, um, I think. Have you really got the strength on the bench? Let's say Vardy's injured for Saturday for, for Thursday's game. Yeah, you know, you've been in the Nacho up front. He's not bad either, but he's not a Vardy. You know what I mean? No, he's not. He's not a Vardy, and to be honest, I, it may end up being Ianacho go over top front, or it might be Iose Perez comes in off the right to play centrally, which is his natural position. Yeah. And then we see Gray, Gray on the left and Barnes on the right. So it's obviously you don't want to see him get injured. He's probably he's the informed player in the Premier League at the moment. Yeah. But it's not as if there isn't options if he does. Yeah, I, I, it's going to be an interesting game. It's an eight o'clock kickoff as well. Everybody be relaxed after Christmas Day, and they'll be probably even more. Well, it won't be that relaxed on Boxing Day, but they'll be tired. You know the way after after Christmas Day, after your turkey or whatever ham or whatever you're having on Christmas Day, a few drinks. You know you're nice and relaxed. But it's the late kickoff. It's the eight o'clock kickoff, and it's actually on um, Amazon Prime or something, isn't it? It's something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's a bit weird, isn't it? But it actually it's worked. It's worked quite well for me because if it was at a normal kickoff time, I wouldn't have been able to go to it. So for me, it's worked well, but I know it's not ideal for the majority of fans. No. You're going to the game, yeah? Yeah, I'm going. Yeah. Wow, that should be good. Yeah, I'm fun. driving driving back to Leicester on Boxing Day from God, it's <laughs> a long day. Oh, brillo, brillo. But um, anyway, I'm not going to say good luck to you on Thursday because it's Liverpool, but... Um, Anybody else, I'd say good luck to you. I hope he's won the League Cup, by the way. I think he'll beat Villa in the semis. Definitely beat Villa. And it'll either be City or United, is not in the final? Yeah, it's one of those competitions to you guys and a lot of the other big clubs. It means nothing. But for us, it's just a bit of silverware. Oh, it'll be a nice day at Wembley for you guys. Yeah, definitely. And it's an incentive as well. If we do win something like a League Cup, it could sort of kick us on to win something else in the future. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just one of those. It's it's a nice thing to win, but I think it would mean a lot more to the fans than it would to the sort of financial side of a club, if you know what I mean. Well, I mean, let's put it this way: it's look, it's looking like they're going to get top four. It's looking like they're going to get at least the cup final. I mean, you have to be happy with that. Couldn't be happier, mate. Honestly, yeah. couldn't be happier. Uh, <laughs> it's it's just it's incredible. It's just. My, my hope is that we build upon this now and don't let it be a one-season flush in the pan. Yeah. Well, hold on. You've won the Premier League a few years ago. We haven't even won the bloody thing, which is yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, we won the, the thing. Thing. We have. A, lot of, a lot of people forget that boy. You know what I mean? I still can't believe he's won the league that year. I just It, it just Trust blows me, me away to think how he's won the league that year. It really does. I just cannot believe it. Trust me, I'm not forgetting that anytime soon. But um, it's one of those, it's one of those things. Yes, we did win the league, but then it was that drop off over the next few years, and we're building back up to sort of that level again. But for you guys, obviously, you're a much bigger club than us, much bigger facilities and budget. But you've always had that sustainability of being around the top, even during your sort of difficult period. You were still the top eight Premier League team, and I know there's sort of levels and stuff, but. Like for us, just to get into European football would be good, but for you, then like that's for a bare minimum expectation. Yeah, no, I mean we we're, we're living the dream at the moment, but I mean since Klopp came four years ago, we've just changed. I mean we won a two good seasons with Rodgers. Don't get me wrong. I mean we should have won it that year. The famous slip from Gerrard and stuff like that. I thought we should have won it that year. I thought we had a, we were the better team than City. Than, um, City. We should have won it. We didn't win it. Even last year we could have won it. It's only one point in it. So we've been close. We were close before with Julio. We were close with Benitez. Well, I think this year, it's just something different about us. We're winning games when we're not playing well. You know, we're, we're even winning games and we're not deserving to win games, which is a great sign. You know what I mean? So I've a really, I'm not saying we've won it. It's not over yet until the fat lady sings. Still a lot of football to play. But to be honest with you, we're in a great position. That's all I can say. Yeah, you're, in the, you're definitely in the best position. And, I think the fact that Man City have been weakened quite a lot this year yeah. is like not taken away from where you are because like that's incredible in itself. But the fact Man City are weaker this year is probably helping you guys. And then your only like 
us and Man City are being your only two like, real rivals, I think that is helping you guys a lot because there's not too much pressure on you this year in terms of having to keep pace with someone like there was last year. Well, we play you on Boxing Day and we play City in April. So, and you play each other again. I think it's, is it March? Something like that? March the 20th, I believe. Yeah. But so, there's a lot of football to play. There's an awful lot. I'm not saying anything. All they're going to do is enjoy Christmas Day and then enjoy Boxing Day for the match, the big game. Leicester City, Liverpool. I'm going 2 1 Liverpool. Boya is going 2 1 Leicester. <laughs> Right, boy, I'm going to leave you. That's LCFC, boy, biggest Leicester City fan on the planet. You enjoy your Christmas and all your family, my friend, and I shall talk to you soon. Yes, talk to you soon, Dave. Cheers for having me on, mate. Cheers, mate. Good luck.